Hey guys, welcome back to one of my videos. Uh, man, I can't wait to show you this custom. Uh, I, I put a lot of hours into him. Uh, it kind of it wasted most of my epoxy scope. Most of the clay went into the hard hat. Uh, funny thing is, I actually uh, use a, a back scratcher uh, to make the hammer. I needed the the, the handle for it, so uh, I bought a, ba a back scratcher and uh, chopped this piece off and and uh, molded the. the the hammer onto it. <laughs> yeah, the, the hammer has, has an actual uh, heavy feeling to it. Uh, if you if, if you hit somebody with it, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a quick look, and then I'm gonna put it on the desk where you can get a, a better look at him. All right, check this out. I really like how he turned out. Um, like I said, I put a lot of hours into him. Uh, I could have finished it sooner. Uh, if it wasn't for school and all the projects and, and homework and all that good stuff, um, but yeah, um, I actually I was I already made a video of um, of this giant Mario Maker figure, but then I had to restart the video because I forgot <laughs> I actually forgot to uh, make the the handles. I mean not the handles, the straps. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I had to start from the beginning. Uh, I mean shooting the video again. Uh, just because of the, of the handles. <laughs> I also made a small Mario Maker figure. Uh, I, I already made a video for that, so if you want to go ahead and check it out, uh, it's up in my channel. Uh, but this is my favorite one. Uh, the big one is cool and all, but I, I, I like this size better. I don't know why, but um, I'm pretty proud of this one right here. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the big Mario Maker figure. <laughs> wow, look at the size. It's even bigger than my computer monitor. And there's my small Mario Maker figure. Man, he's gigantic. But uh, a little things that I did differently this time. It, um, I didn't design the big Mario Maker figure to hold the hammer. I could have done it, but I just didn't go that route. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Um, and also, so basically what I did, I just grabbed a 20 inch uh, Fire Mario and repainted him yellow. Uh, well, I mean his uh, his shirt pretty much yellow, and with epoxy sculpt, I made the uh, the hard hat, uh, the bell buckle, the belt, the pouch, the hammer, and the straps. Let's take a closer look at him. So here's a close up. I really like how he turned out. Okay, let me uh, step back a little bit. Is this Mario Maker uh, figure perfect? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, he, he does have imper imperfections here and there. Uh, I'm not used to in working with big figures like this. Uh, I mostly, uh, if you watch my videos, I only do uh, small figures like that. Uh, and so this is basically my first big figure I have ever done. Uh, again, I'm not used to working with this scale and I'm not that good at it yet. Um, so hopefully if I do keep making more big action figures, uh, I can get better at it. Uh, but yeah, so this is my first uh, big action figure I have ever made. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. And also if you guys uh, need any help uh, like with tips and stuff like uh, what type of paint to use to make customs, uh, what type of materials you need and all that stuff, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll, and I'll gladly help you. Uh, I'll I don't see why I shouldn't uh, share my secrets. Uh, I mean, they're, they're really they're not really secrets, but uh, if you guys need any help, just let me know, and I'll, I'll be happy to uh, help. I'll try to help you as best as I can uh, in the comments. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time.